up guys thank you for subscribing i really want to use this page just to have like some more in detail discussions about things i see throughout the day throughout the dogs that i'm training you know little quick tips that could help so um my first one that i'm going to give you guys is pretty much the same one i give a majority of my clients okay so these are going to be ways you could start today to start improving your relationship with your dog so one start hand feeding your dog their meals so what that means is that you grab your dog's bowl you throw it away and you use the food that you're going to feed your dog for that day and you start training with it you ask the dog to sit the dog sits you give it some food you ask the dog to lay down they lay down you give it some food if your dog does not want the food you put the food away and you try again later and you want to show your dog that this is how you're going to eat your food from now on and this is going to help build relationship between you two and it's going to help it become more fun and it's going to evidently help teach the dog the things we want to teach them okay next is you're going to keep your leash on your dog inside the home that way if your dog's on the couch and you want them off the couch you don't have to scream at them you could just say off and then pull them off slightly with the cat with the leash if they don't come off same thing if they're chewing on something you have a way to control your dog and manage them okay so when they're out i want them on a leash if they're barking at the door you give them a little leash pressure hey puppy this way and then you get their attention back on you right so next is if you're not watching your dog you're going to put them in a crate okay if you're not crate training your dog then i would get on crate training asap i would start feeding your dog's meals in the crate get them comfortable with the crate but this way if your dog's in the crate while you're not watching them they will not get in trouble okay they will be out of trouble and they'll be fine so this goes for don't leave them in the backyard alone either not for a long time anyways or in the front yard same deal because then the same shit's going to happen your dog's going to start doing things that we don't want them to do and we're not there to interrupt the behavior okay so for right now we got hand feeding keeping a leash on your dog and always watching dog and if you're not watching them put them in the crate just doing these things will help you out tremendously and start taking food with you on your walks okay so the way i go about it is kibble inside that's how you're going to work for your food is the kibble inside and outside i'll take treats i need more attention outside so outside i'll take treats okay so start working on those things and whenever you're outside anytime your dog looks at you or pays attention is in the right position feed them some treats good dog feed them feed them work on your marker words i'll be posting more videos on markers and things like that but those are some very basic things that you could get started with today